says, the children of the world have more wisdom. The wisdom of man, manna, have more wisdom than the children of light. Let me explain and show you what Christ was saying in that place. Rappers and entertainment artists will train their children up and show them how to do what they do. While the people of God will allow the, the world to show them what they do. But the Bible says train up a child in the way that it should go. And when it becomes old, now, good God Almighty, it shall not depart. I want you to understand that if you are a child If you are a child of God, if you are a child of God, I want y'all to understand this. When you have children, the Bible says, lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. That's in the 127 Psongs, if, you don't, if, you, if you're not familiar with it. That song starts off, except the Lord build the house. Each one of you are part of the house of your parents. It says, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. And it says, As arrows yes. are in the hand yes. of a mighty archer. Yes. Now, anybody know a mighty archer can stand a long ways off and with a true eye hit the target? Yes. It says, And they shall speak to the enemy in the gate. Whatever you place okay. in your children. That's the wisdom of the poor man. That man that saved the city, and after the city was saved, everybody forgot that thing. I don't proselyte or prostitute the gift that I recognize in my son. I understand that it is my job to qualify the gift. Not only did God give my son to me as proxy. See, my son belonged to God. But he rendered him to me to stand in his place concerning him. And in the place he placed me as a pastor, not only is my son my biological offspring, he is my spiritual offspring. So I need to rule with double honor. All right. That's all right. Y'all right. can catch this after a while. But see, I'm not going to have nobody missing this thing. And I understand that whatever allow him to do that he enjoyed doing for God and qualified God will place in him something to abate, to go against what the world will, will place in him to draw him away from God. Amen. So in this place, I honor God. And I thank him for the opportunity. Some of you got the chance to see, he, you know, he's my number seven son. I like that. That's heavenly completion. I want you to understand, some of you got a chance to see the other seven, other six, because Daniel's new beginning. And God has placed in Tillman. Tillman can do more with Daniel than I can. See, if y'all could just really understand what happens in families. You may sire as parents' children, but some of the brothers and sisters can do more with your child than you can. So if you place in one what you need for all, then everything will trickle down. <laughs> I want y'all to understand what y'all get it. My son can't read, and he can't write. But if I was a betting man, I'd go right now to Vegas, and I promise you, he can quote you more scriptures than you. And his understanding of the word exceeds the level of many, many preachers. See, the Bible says, for all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. It is profitable for doctrine, 
good for reproof and correction and instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Hmm. So that leads me to believe that the Bible is there for me to do God's work because God is the only one that's good. And if your works are going to be good, it's God's work. Now, in this place, understanding all of this, I want you to look at him, not by his statue. And I'm doing this service a little differently. We're going to bring the word. And then after the word comes, we're going to rejoice in fellowship. Amen? Amen. See, we don't got caught up to that. You got to do this, and you got to do that. The only thing you have to do in church is glorify God. And there ought to be somebody in the house that can hear from God and be able to do and direct what God would have done. So you didn't pray to get your chance. You get your chance. But you need to have something to really praise God for. And so, I want you to understand that as his father, he is the most obedient child that I have. And I honor him in that place. I don't care what he want to do. When I exercise the authority, oh, you're right, overseer. He quickly come to the place. Now, I don't know if y'all got children like that. He'll tell me, he won't only, he won't only obey, but he'll agree with me. And that's a good thing. Because where he don't have the understanding, if he continue to agree, Time will bring him to the understanding. A lot of us never get understanding because in the place of authority, we never agree. The Bible says, except you be agreed. How can two walk together except they be, not, not that they agree, but they be agreed. He loves the Lord. I have devotion in my house. Devotion consists of Prayer, communication with God, and scripture. Every morning and every night I'm not in church, we have it. And if he be asleep, and I Lord get me up, sometimes the Lord get me up one or two o'clock in the morning, and everybody in my house get up. Because they're children, I understand the word go into them while they sleep. Because a child is more subtle to God than grown folks. So I don't lord myself over God's heritage. So I allow them to sleep and he'll get up. And you know what he told me? Oh man, I miss devotion. Be sad when I can't even get grown folks to say I miss devotion. He be sad. He told me you can wake me up. And when he hear he come out the house. Somebody's like this, clapping his hands, praising God. Now he may lay on that couch and go back to sleep. But I promise you, he can tell you what the word was about. And anybody that has, there are some people in here that have been privy, privy to him in devotion. There's some things that come out of his mouth that will not come out of grown folks' mouth. And in that place, I honor him. I'm saying this because I don't want you to get confused. Because everybody can't deliver the word of God from the mouth of God. See, God has to speak to your mouth if you're going to stand in Moses' seat. Now, what the word said about Moses, it said, Moses, my servant, I speak mouth to mouth. Now, you can't say it's a certain age before God speaks mouth to mouth because he told Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee. See, I had this kind of understanding. Even though he five years old, I understand that he had a relationship with God before God gave him to me. So I would be remiss to hinder that relationship and development. I'm asking you to stand up.